going everybody? This is Derek Sims here back with my second video ever. So for this video, it is a brand new challenge that I have recently stumbled upon on YouTube and it is from fellow Simmer Vixella. Vixella, I so much love watching your little shell challenge build. How you built yours, I thought it was simplistic and very pretty. The one thing I really wish you did do was make a backyard. So with mine, I'm hoping to do just that. I'm hoping to make that backyard. And hopefully, if you do see this, I hope you're proud of how this turned out. Anyway, enough babbling about this. I am here with the speed build and it is my shell challenge created by Vixella. Vixella created this little shell. Now the rule of this is we cannot change the exterior walls. We cannot add on to it. We cannot take away. We can add walls on the inside, but we can't add walls on the outside. I think adding, you know, raising it just a smidge, like how we added that little front porch is just fine. If not, I apologize. I didn't read the rules clearly, but uh, <laughs> it is what it is. So what I'm doing is I'm taking this house and I'm gonna make it look grand and magnificent. And what I have in mind is I'm gonna make this look grand for a single sim, like a bachelor, if you will. So like, hopefully it'll make sense in the end when everything is all said and done. This house will be for a bachelor sim or a bachelorette sim, whoever, a single sim, if you will. Because it's we don't have a lot of space, as you can tell from the inside, which is totally cool. I can make this do. It'll just be like a tiny home, except, you know, bigger and more room to work with. But at the same time, you don't have much space to do everything you want to do. Like, right now, I'm trying to figure out how the heck I'm going to do this living room. And, you know, go from there. So, right now, I'm picking the chimney because I don't know how I want my chimney to look. The one thing I wish I knew how to do is make it chimney, the base, start from the ground behind the fireplace and go all the way up the side of the house through the roof. I really wish I knew who to do that. Now, if you remember my first video, I saw that chandelier. I want to do something so bad with that chandelier and I'm going to do it in this video. I'm still trying to figure out how the heck I'm going to do the floor takeaway, but I think I figured it out right here. Definitely works. And what I'm doing my vision for that, it's going to be an encased light. The light is going to go down to the first floor and it's in front of that grand window right above the entrance, which I think is cool. So I think this is going to be going to, this is going to be turning out really great. I'm not so keen on the stairs. I mean, that's fine. I just wish that the platform was to the left one position and the stairs were next to the wall of the stairs, if that makes any sense. Like, move the base and the bottom of the stairs over to the left a smidge, so that way there's not a little gap in between. I kind of wish I knew how to do that. So, my thing for the living room. Kind of want to make it red, comfy, cozy, warm, and inviting. Hence why it's in front of a dark fireplace. The kitchen, I'm gonna put over here. And I think with the dining room, yeah, we're gonna have a dining room. We're gonna have it just right off the kitchen. Like, it's gonna be between the living room and the dining, uh, the kitchen. I don't know how I want this kitchen to be, like, cabinet-wise. As you can tell, I'm kind of struggling with how I'm gonna place these, because, again, I don't know how big I want this kitchen to be. Again, I said this in the first video I've done. I'll say it again. I like to do big kitchens, but with this, you know, I'm just going to have to settle with this kind of kitchen where it doesn't wrap around the window and all that, which is kind of what I was going for, but I think that might be better in the end because I think I'm going to put my dining table there. So right now we're just adding a few little touches like Keurig and K-Cups for those that like to make tea and coffee, and, you know, just some little things. Uh, got the smoke detector trying to figure out where I want to put the thermostat. Kind of want it in a neutral place. Like most people have their thermostat in the living room. So I'm just going to keep mine in the living room. So I kind of like how this is turning out. I really do. 
I think it's really pretty. I, honest to God, don't even want to think about getting one of those wall trash cans because, oh boy. So right now we're trying to figure out the dining room. Like I said, I kind of want it between the kitchen and the living room. I want enough, not just for my single sim to live there, I also want enough so that way if I have guests over, we have enough sitting places for them. <laughs> so that's cool, I guess. Um, now we're just trying to figure out a little space to fill in there. I think putting the bookcase there is not entirely a bad idea, but it is what it is with what space we have to work with. We kind of want to fill up the space to make it look like it's a nice home. So with that, we're putting our little office in the back corner of this little unit. And we're going all out and we're going to find one extra activity for them. They can't just be on the computer. We're going to have them do photography. They get to show off their photography skills. And I think that will be very fun. And I think just perfect. Right now, I don't know what else I'm looking for. I kind of want to give them one more activity besides photography, like maybe an easel or something like that. I don't know what I'm scrolling for, so that easel might work. I'm just trying to think of a lot of things for them to do, so. It's all fun and games, right? <laughs> uh, do I want to add one more row tile or go on a carpet? Yeah, I'm on carpet. There we go. Perfect. We're done with the downstairs. Now we get to work with upstairs. This would be an interesting challenge because I kind of want to block off the stairs, but kind of don't. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So like I said, that's going to be our bedroom. That weird Z looking thing that you see in Tetris. <laughs> It's going to be a bedroom. And the other little long stick of butter <laughs> is going to be the bathroom. So, and I think every home should have a laundry unit. So, it's, I'm going to have to incorporate a laundry facility in that bathroom somehow. Which is normal, believe it or not, for some places. Because, believe it or not, in my local area that I live in, there are some condos that have a washer and dryer in the bathroom the master bathroom believe it or not and i've even toured a couple that have that and i think that's actually a nice feature get out of the shower just throw your towel in the dryer and you're good to go you know so hopefully we are able to do that but right now we're gonna finish focusing on upstairs after we took a look downstairs and get this nice and done and ready it's the little things, right? Like literally, I'm just trying to find every little thing that can make this perfect. I don't want to overdo the space. I want to make it perfect. So with the bathroom, I thought about going big, like with the hot tub or a corner tub, which I think that's one of the best corner tubs ever. But at the same time, I don't like the little space there is to get in and out of it. So I don't know. I might stick with it. I'm not keen on the idea. But, you know, I like the rich, elegant look and feel of having nice things. And I just don't know how we're going to do the rest of the bathroom at this point. <laughs> Still don't know if I want a shower in there or not. I mean, we already have a hot tub, bathtub, so that should be just enough. Uh, as for a single sim, I don't know why I'm making two sinks, two vanities. I should just stick with one. I might get rid of the other one pretty soon. And as, as you can see, we got the toilet, toilet paper. We're incorporating towels and little knickknack, cabinet, patty whack, give it all the bone. This old man is good. <laughs> oh my goodness. I apologize for now going off like that i've been up since 4 p.m at the time of this recording it is 8 33 a.m and i just got off of work at 7 a.m so right now we're back in the bedroom we're trying to incorporate mirrors yet again to our little corner of our closet we don't have an actual closet but that's okay 
Why have an actual closet when you have a chest in yours? Yeah, back to the bathroom. As you can see, we're trying to incorporate the laundry into the bathroom. I don't know how this is going to play out. Like I said, I might get rid of that second vanity. Or, better yet, there. How do I like that? There we go. Yeah. Okay. That looks much better. Add a little something, something there. There we go. I definitely like how that is looking. Like, I don't think I could add anything extra to any of those rooms upstairs, any of that space. So now we're just gonna add the final touches, the paint, the flooring, tie it together, make it look nice. I thought about changing the tile in the kitchen and I think I'm gonna do just that. I kinda want it to match the rest of the, uh, the paint and the whole space, if that makes any sense. Same for upstairs. I kinda want everything to be simple, neutral, and inviting. And I think that this is definitely a good look. Usually I like to go bold, but you know, for this challenge, I kinda wanna keep it simplistic and calm. So we're getting everything matchy matchy. Um, <laughs> I kinda wanna do something on that little deck out there. I don't know what though. But first let's figure out what we're gonna make the house look like. I honestly thought about doing siding, but I looked at the brick pillars that you see in the front and I kind of want them to match the walls on the exterior of the house. So we're just going to do brick and mortar. And, you know, we'll see how that goes, all right? Right now I'm just trying to add little extra touches, making the place feel more at home, like adding some lights. I'm starting to think I shouldn't have those two windows in the stairwell. Oh, how did that paint get there? Oh my goodness. What a snap. Um, I was thinking about putting that spiral chandelier above the stairs, but I know it would interfere with the stairs. So I think I'm just gonna do these classic lights throughout. Like, I think it complements the whole entire area. Gonna change the texture a little bit on some items, make it feel like a personal touch, because me personally, I like dark furniture. Um, it just screams warm. I don't know why. It, it it's it's just a personal thing, I guess. I'm gonna add some light outside. I thought it'd be cool if I could like hang lights from either of the support beams or on the fence posts or something. Those little fence posts there, or even from the little roof above the front door entrance. But alas, my apologies, I thought my phone was on silent. So right now, I have decided that I am going to definitely do some little decorating on the deck outside the bedroom, some r and &R. I don't know what the heck I'm doing I'm trying to find some space for the patio, but whatever I'm looking at, oh my goodness. <laughs> I think I'm going to go with a little art piece. I think it looks elegant, very cute. And with that couch there across from it, very elegant. And I think it's a nice, inviting sitting area, if you will. I don't know if I want to keep it that pillar of the couch or change it. I think we'll leave it that way for now. We'll probably come back to it. And again, literally just doing here and there touches. Nothing significant. Uh, curtains. My enemy. I don't know if I want to do curtains and blinds or just blinds or just curtains. So right now with this and those dreaded windows and the stairs, we're going with these nice little shades. I think they look really nice. They block out light, but at the same time, I'm still deciding if I want them to be dark or left alone. I think I'm going to leave them alone, especially if I'm adding the curtains. And, you know, we're just literally going through the process of putting this whole piece together. So now, one final thing I'm going to do, and this will pretty much be the rest of this video, is something that Vixella, I was, I, again, I'm sorry I'm calling you out, but that you didn't do in your video, but I know you probably really wanted to do, is I'm making a backyard. I'm doing this backyard in your honor, girl. 
I hope you love this if you watch this video. I truly hope you enjoy this little backyard. I'm sorry it's not significant, but you know, it is what it is. And as we get closer to the end of the video, it is where I should know that I have recorder issues because I am low on computer space apparently. So I couldn't record every single little bit that I'm doing in the backyard. So if it starts to look choppy in the next couple minutes, you know why in advance. So I deeply apologize, but I am working on that. I think it's because I have recorded another sim video that I'm currently editing at this time. And as soon as that is uploaded, then I should have more space to do so. I should be taking part in another challenge that I saw on Twitter from a fellow Simoleon, and it's another build challenge, and I'm really looking forward to it. I truly am. It's a dream house challenge from Simmer's group chat, and I truly am excited to take part. I have until Sunday, and today is Friday, so we'll see how this goes. I'm hoping it'll be fun. But anyway, back to this. The struggle with this, the gardening. I suck so bad at gardening. I want it to look simplistic, but at the same time, I want it to look rich. So knowing me, of all people, I've made the really bold decision to go with these weird looking wildflowers for my garden all around. And normally I don't even go nitty gritty with adding dirt in my garden let alone do a garden period. I just let it be in the grass, you know? I, that just is unheard of for me. But I'm adding all these little touches because I want this to be one of the best videos showcasing a house that I have ever made. Granted, this is only my second video, but I've been playing this since for almost a decade. So like, this is a challenge not only for entering Vic Salas shell challenge video, but also a challenge to myself to step out of my boundaries and comfort zone and do all of this excessive building. Now, obviously, I'm having a struggle with adding the flowers in that back corner, but I'm super glad, super, super glad that they have single little bushels of flower compared to that little extended bushel. You know, hard to explain. So right now we're just adding the dirt back to where it was, gonna get edging. I thought about at one point adding a little border to, you know, around the whole garden, but I thought keep it natural and leave it alone. And as you can tell, I'm doing this somehow very almost perfect and neat. I have OCD. So if I'm going crazy with it, I apologize, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about it. So I want to do one more thing. As you can see, we're kind of maybe trying to figure out adding a border to around the garden, but I realized that it just ain't going to work. It ain't going to work. So the one final grand thing I'll do for this backyard and this is where the video starts getting choppy, is I'm adding a pool. I could have gone big and add a tree house, add a playground or something, but no, I just wanted to add a pool because you can't have a home without a pool, right? I mean, look at this. I'm adding a freaking slide. Yeah, as you can see, the video got choppy and skipped way ahead. Uh, for privacy reasons, and it's a law in Illinois, last I hear, you're supposed to have a fence, a privacy fence of some sorts around the pool. So that is what I'm doing here. I'm adding a hedge fence around the pool. And voila, got a little sidewalk path, concrete stepping stone path to the pool, and we're good to go. I really wish really really wish I could incorporate the mailbox into one of those pillar posts because that just looks funky to me. We're going to incorporate the stepping stones up front to give it that nice little entrance look. You here and there nips and tucks and touches and all that jazz. I love this so much. This house has truly been a delight to work with and yeah that's about it. We're just moving things around and just doing little nitty gritty little things and yeah 
that about sums it up for this video. It is a one bed, one bath house shell challenge created by fellow Simmer Vixella. And voila! As you can see now, I'm thinking about putting trees in the front, but as you can see, we do not go with that. So I thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Have a fantastic day!